Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome into For The Low. My name is Spencer and I'm going to show you really quickly how to replace the belt kit on your Onkyo dual cassette deck. The model number of what I'm working with is TA-RW470, but this should apply to many different Onkyo cassette decks. And what you need to do the repair is a screwdriver kit similar to this one. And then you need your belt kit and then you may need some cleaning supplies and maybe even a sharp object. The way that you know that you need to replace the belt kit is generally if it's not playing or if it's not counting that means that you need to replace the belt kit or if it's not fast forwarding or rewinding properly that means you need to get the belt kit but the best way to know for sure is by taking the top off and looking at the belt itself it's usually pretty obvious if it needs to be replaced but let's go ahead and get it get started so first you'll need to remove the screws holding the top on there's two on each side for this one and then one on the back i already removed them and then you'll slide it back and lift it up all right, so the first thing that you want to try to do is get the front panel off. We will start by disconnecting any wires that are holding it on. It off we'll have to remove these screws Got that part off and now we have a screw two screws on each side right there then we should be able to slide it off at that point All right now we've got those off and let's see looks like we've got another zip tie or two that we need to mess with. All 
All right, now we've got the front panel off. How about that? So, now we need to get inside of the motor wheel. And the way we do that, it looks like we just have to take these two screws off. Yep, of course, it looks like there's a screw right there that we need to get to. And I think we're gonna have to take the whole deck out. And the way we do that is get these four screws. Now we've got that out, and the screw that we need is that one, I believe. Let's try it out. There's another one that we have to get out, this one right here. All right, so we're gonna need to put the belt on like this unless we wanna end up soldering something. And to clean up the belt, because as you can see, there is a belt that is stuck on that wheel. And we're gonna have to get that off. We can try getting it with our hand, and if we can't get it all, we'll have to use a flat head to finish it off. I think that's just about as clean as we're gonna get it. We'll go ahead and get the other wheel now. make it a little bit easier have to clean the motor next All right, so now we've gotten that all done, we can go ahead and put this deck together and put the belt on. All right, so now we've got the belt on there. All you gotta do is wrap it around that wheel and then you place this on top of it and then you just make sure that the belt is on the outside of the motor when you go to put this back on top of it. But now we can put the screws back in. you can position these try to position these back how they were before then now you can reattach it to the deck all right so now this deck is complete and we can move on to this one so we will just be doing the same thing over again
All right, so once all of that is cleaned up, you can get your belt on there and then put this piece on. So once it's on there, you get it on there by just spinning this. It'll straighten itself out if you spin it in that direction. And then now we can finish putting all the screws back on. All right, so the belts should be good. And now we can go ahead and get this all back together. And when you put the panel back on, you want to make sure that you're not leaving any wires stuck down there. So we'll go ahead and wire everything up before we finish putting it back together. We got it all put together correctly. I'm gonna have to test the rest of the functions to make sure the wiring is properly together. But at least the belt kit is fixed. That's pretty much all there is for the belt repair on this Onkyo dual cassette deck. Uh, it's a very, 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 very difficult repair. There's way too many wires and just so much going on for it. It's not an easy repair. So if you're gonna do it, know that ahead of time. But I really hope this helped you get this, get your deck repaired if you plan on repairing it. And if you don't wanna repair it yourself, you can send it into us and we can take care of it for you or you can just get it replaced. We have decks similar to this one available and we might have this one available. You can give us a call or check out our online store at forthelow.net. Thanks for watching.